Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds, and let's get into this hive down here that had the 94 mite wash, which if you don't know what that is, to test for the varroa levels in your hive, you can use an alcohol wash, which will give you a fairly accurate representation of the mites. And 94, if you don't know, is there's like a low, there's kind of like, eh, it's getting up there, and you got high, and then you got very high, and then you have crazy, and this one was past that. This one was really high. This is on a colony, though, that we caught in a swarm trap, and it had really dark-looking bees, and I wanted to experiment and see if they had any type of mite resistance, and the answer is a big whopping no. However, we've done a lot to them. If you followed our videos, I'll do a quick recap. We dropped initially five rounds of oxalic acid vapor. Keep in mind the colony wasn't that large and the five rounds in a 21 day period was not enough to knock the mites back. They still washed a 30 odd mite count after five rounds of oxalic acid vapor. I just want wanted to do that one to show you that oxalic acid vapor is not a cure-all. None of the treatments are. You've got to keep the mites low. You can't let them get out of hand. None of the treatments work very well if you let the mites get out of hand. So you always need to be proactive instead of reactive. Also I wanted to show that oxalic acid vapor is not a guaranteed thing as well. We do two rounds of oxalic acid vapor to every colony in winter because it's not that high of a mite kill. Some people are saying 90 something percent. My experience tends to be lower than that, but when you, you do two of them, it gets you up there. Um, that's when the colony's broodless. This was, we were treating with the five rounds during a period of a lot of brood, and this colony has shrank a lot. So after the five rounds, we did three more oxalic acid vapors uh, shots and uh, one week apart, and we also had apivar in there. Now I've done an alcohol wash since. There's virtually no mites in the hive. I mean, there are some in there, but very, very few. Not even showing up on an alcohol wash. However, the damage was already done. We requeened this colony with a brand new queen from our own stock. We also fed the things big time. If they needed any type of feed, protein, they got it. But, as you're fixing to see, <laughs> unbelievable. Get out of here. Thing's 18 years old, 17, whatever it is. Let's get into this hive before the cat gets its dander all over my hat. It helps if you get the one that's lit. <laughs> this cat's always messing me up. All right, so we're going to talk about this. I've got a little insulative bit right here. Look how few bees there are. We're in the 40s right now. Should be broodless. Now, we've got honey over here. Let's pull one of those frames. Everything's pretty tight right now. Pull this. And there's a little bit of mold or some type of film. I'm pretty sure it's a little type of mold on the frames. You can see it right there. You can see it through all that smoke. Whew. That's very normal though. Happens in even our big colonies. You just don't see it as much because they they eat through it a lot faster. But look how small this cluster is now. We're fixing to get into them a little bit more. A lot of people have been commenting on how damaging this is to the colony. It's in the 40s. This will not hurt the bees at all unless they have brood. And even if they have brood, as long as we throw it back in quickly, it'll be all right. I got a little bit of bees up in here. There's the queen. You can see the green dot right there. She's very small now. She's not laying. Sorry about the camera, but our main camera just decided to give up. So we're having to use a backup, and it's not near as good. You can probably hear the kids messing around in the background on their trampoline. So we, we gave these bees a lot of things. We gave them a new queen. There's not that many bees. We, we gave them food. We took care of the mites. But it was too little, too late. Even though we did give a lot. It's just too late. The viruses, the bacteria, and we don't even know 100% what all the mites do to them. We do know that they eat on the adult bees. 
they basically liquefy and destroy part of their intestines down there. So I don't know about you, but I don't think I'd handle that very well. Then on top of that, they're going in the next generation before that next generation even has a chance to be healthy and contribute to the hive. They're just, you know, taking them out. And then there's virus spread you know, from, from bee to bee. And however that all works, some people say that the queens come down with it. I tend to believe that um, because I've had colonies that the next year have survived. And these, these bees will probably make it in the next spring. I bet they will. I, I, I hope they'll do something, but I seriously doubt they're going to end up doing anything. They'll just spin their wheels and spin their wheels all year long, and nothing will ever come of them. And that's just because viruses, bacteria, something like that. Not 100% sure, but I've seen it a lot. Um, there's always a few colonies um, that I've uh, tinkered around with every year that show some signs, and you can put queens in them. You can put new queens in them, you can put new queens in them, and you can waste all kinds of money and a lot of time and equipment for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Don't let this happen to your bees. Be proactive. Keep on top of the mites. If you do that, your bees will be much better for it. They're just much easier to keep healthy um, when, when you keep those mite levels low. Now... What to do with this equipment right here? Let's say this colony doesn't make it through the winter. Or say that it's just not taking off and we want to recoup this equipment. What are we going to do? Thankfully, research is showing that viruses don't last very long term in a dead out colony. Which is one of the few decent things that they do. Is a die off them in, in the equipment. Now I have done this before where I've had some virus um, combs and stuff. And usually... It happens this time of the year in fall or something like that, and uh, then you just let it go through the winter as it is, and then you use it again in spring. I've never had any issues with that whatsoever. However, they've had several weeks, and I've heard different things, but um, I had no problem using uh, combs and equipment that have had virus and colonies collapse in them and then re reuse them again in the spring. So if you're wondering about that, um, you, you can reuse it. Some people will tell you to burn it <laughs> at, at the drop of a hat. Oh, you've got waxworms, burn it. There's European fowl brood, burn it. You've got this, burn it. The only time I'm going to be burning anything is if it's old or if it's American fowl brood. Now, European fowl brood could be very different in other countries, but here um, we just selectively breed that out of our uh, program. We, if we see any signs of it in a colony, the queen goes and she gets replaced. You know, chalk brood, any of those brood diseases that are um, not American fowl brood, the queens are removed and they are replaced. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling a little bit here, but I just wanted to give you an update on this colony. There's really not a whole lot of special things going on with it. Maybe they will actually do something coming out of spring and maybe somehow the viruses will get cleared out of them. I seriously doubt it. Doubt it. Now, there's some folks that have products out there that say this is going to eliminate viruses. Now, I don't... I don't know of any product for sure that works yet. There's a lot of speculation out there. Some people are saying essential oils are attacking them and killing them, and some research shows that. But it also shows that uh, essential oils are a little stressful on the bees too. So this colony can't take a whole lot more stress. And I, I don't know. I've yet to see anything that could take a colony in this type of condition and fix it. That's just all there is to it. Keep your bees healthy make more of them, keep them healthy, and just keep the circle going. Whew, let's smoke her. Anyways, if you have any comments or questions on this, leave them below. <laughs>